hi welcome to my channel so today i have another fit of vlog for you so in this video we are actually going to the z art sun center in hume in manchester to a see there's a monster in your show and we're so excited actually it's a kids oh, show, theater show. show and this little girl is I'm very so excited to see your monster show. she's so excited to see the monster show i want to see it right now she wants to see it right now be cute and my little man is so cute he's cute he gonna be cute he's cute he's cute, he's cute. <laughs> and who else is in the show monster who else a little alien a little alien and the holly and a baby dragon baby so dragon and a unicorn so we're obviously she's very excited leo's very excited and we've kindly been gifted our tickets by the said art center so obviously i'll show you around the theater uh, show you in case you have any merch i think they might and um uh, give you a review of the show when we get home so i hope you enjoyed this little video not time for the show yet so i thought we'd go up and maybe have a look in the library see if we can find monty's book and read that before the show so yeah the library is just up here it's just a little library but it's really really nice um they also tend to have like coloring sheets up here so i wonder if they've got any monster ones um, it's over here i've got um green with pie so they decided to do a bit of colouring before we go into the library. monster munch box and you get some sandwiches, snacks and fruit and it is £4.75 mm. What numbers is this one to take you with this side? Where are we? I can now. H, yeah, that one. Number one, two, three, and four. So we are in our seats now for the show. We're on row I, seat one to four. And this is our view.
Would anyone like to hold it? So you want to feel really brave, but we're like, oh, you're holding. Oh, you're going to say, 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 you're going
chocolate lollies aren't we what did we think of the monster show did we like it yeah did we love it leo yeah. what was who was your favorite character all of them all of them and did you like when dragon came out of the egg yeah, yeah. alice who did you like all of them all of them and alice was teaching dragon how to fly wasn't you yeah did you teach dragon oh, how to so fly cute. yeah we, we really, really enjoyed the show. One of the best kids shows I think we've been to. Yeah. Um, Alice actually joined in and did some action. She doesn't usually join in. Leo found it a little bit loud, didn't you? So he asked for some air defenders. So they do provide air defenders. I don't know how many they have, but we asked and we got some air defenders and he was much better when he got his air defenders, wasn't you? And we loved it. It was a great show. So we definitely recommend it, don't we, Leo? We definitely go and see that again. Great songs in it, lovely story. Alice wants a chocolate lolly, so I'll get back to you. <laughs> I'll get back to you later. Hi, so it's now been a few days since we went to see There's a Monster in Your Show. So I thought I'd give you a little review and tell you a little bit about our experience at the theatre. So we were kindly invited to go and see the show by Z Arts. So our tickets were gifted. We went on a Saturday, we went the day before Easter, and we went to the two o'clock show in. They had, I think, a number of shows during the day. I think there was one at 11 o'clock, one at two o'clock. I think mean, there was also one at four o'clock on the day that we went. It was only on at the venue, I think, for three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I think it was on. Um, so it wasn't there for very long. Um, it is touring the UK currently, so I will link down below the official website and that'll give you all the venues it's touring to. Um, I think on that day, there was actually three showings of the show. I think it was on at 11, two and four, and we went to the two o'clock showing. So the recommended age range for this show is three plus and the tickets were priced at 14 pounds and the show has a runtime of about 55 minutes. So as I said, we went to the two o'clock show in, we got there for around a uh, quarter past one. So we got there quite early. So what we did is we went to the library at the Z Art Centre because the Z Art Centre isn't just a theatre it has lots of other things going on there it's got a library it's got a cafe often does a family escape rooms there they currently have the 100 story hotel there which is an interactive world of play and storytelling for children age one to eight so they have that on as well there uh, currently so like i said there's lots to do at 
the zen art center there's it's not just theater so we had a nice look in the library we actually found um there's there's a monster in your book and we read that before the show which i thought was nice to read the book before we went into the show so we headed into the theater i think quarter an hour before the show was due to start um we took our seats we were sat on row i seat one to four um when we got in to the auditorium there was music playing and it was quite loud and leo is quite sensitive to sound and noises so he was just sat there with his hands over his ears so um i went and asked a staff member if they had any ear defenders and she very kindly went and got us some which was really nice so if you do have children that are struggling um with the noise you can ask for ear defenders and they do um have some that you can borrow uh, at the venue which I thought was really good. So before the show actually started there was like a little pre-show that went on so some of the cast um, came out into the audience and were interacting with the children which I thought was really nice and um, they spoke to Leo, spoke to Alice which was really nice. Alice doesn't usually like to join in with things but she actually spoke to them and she actually really enjoyed it and they had like a biz applause sign and they're asking if anyone wants to hold it and Alice actually put her hand up and said I'll hold it. She didn't get to hold it but the fact that she because she felt comfortable from talking to them that she would do that I thought it was really nice so they made all the children feel comfortable by coming around and speaking to them and interacting with them so I thought that was really good um, to get them all comfortable and ready for the show uh, so the show itself is based on the Who's in Your Book series which is written by Tom Fletcher who is a member of McFly and um, he has also written uh, the music for the show as well along with Barry Bignold and I really enjoyed the music but I'll talk about that later so he's also done the music for the show the books have been adapted for the stage by Zoe Bourne and the show has been directed by Miranda Larson so the story begins with four story makers who are about to put on a show Charlie is the main story maker and it's his show that they are going to be putting on but his efforts are soon thwarted when they discover that monster is missing from his book um we then have little glimpses of monster um with his little eggs poking up um from behind a box and all the kids shouting he's behind you uh, he then has a shadow of monster on a screen so that was really good so they got the kids interacting um straight away and they all really loved shouting out and saying there's monster um so when they do eventually find monster uh, they try and get him to go back into his book but he doesn't want to he wants to be part of the show he wants it to be monster's show um so he ends up taking the balloons that are supposed to be for the finale and accidentally sets them free and he's upset that he has ruin the finale of the show and wants to help so he enlists some friends to come and help try and get the balloons back so the first friend he gets is dragon so we have this big dragon egg which is then on stage and he gets the children to shout tap and he tap the egg and eventually the egg o opens up and dragon hatches out from the egg uh, and the dragon puppet is really lovely all the puppets in the show are fantastic um and then dragon and monster do a little dance and then we interest we're introduced to some other friends we're introduced to alien who arrives in his little spaceship which was really fun and we're also introduced to unicorn um all these characters are in the book series um, so if the children have read the books they'll be familiar with the characters so the story makers end up making friends with these creatures and allow them to be part of the show um, so they're in the show and then at, uh, eventually time for them to go back into their books and that is the basic story of the show which I thought was really good it's really simple to follow but it's a really nice story it's all about friendship and an imagination and having fun so I thought it was a really good really good story I really enjoyed it the kids really enjoyed it as well 
Um, the set for this show was really good. It was really bright, really colourful, and we really enjoyed that. There's lots of little bits where the puppets popped out from, and it was really good. Uh, the puppets definitely stole the show. The puppets were absolutely fantastic. They were designed by Keith Frederick, who had done a really good job of keeping the puppets true to the original illustrations from the book that were done by Greg Abbott. So if your children are familiar with the books, they will definitely recognise their favourite characters uh, in the puppets because they look just like the illustrations in the book. The unicorn is supposed to have its horn and hooves light up, but it didn't seem to work in our production. They didn't light up, but they are supposed to do that. Um, Alien flies in in a little flying saucer, which is really, really fun. And yeah, they were really, really great puppets. Very well designed um, and they were really, really cute. So as I mentioned previously, the show has original music, which has been written by um, Tom Fletcher and all the songs in the show were fantastic they were so catchy definitely earworms i've been singing them ever since and they were really really good they all had like some movements that the kids could join in with and they were really really good really enjoyed all the songs which were in the show so the cast for this show were fantastic not only did they have to act and dance and sing they also had to work the puppets as well um some people were actually working multiple puppets and they did a unique voice for both puppets um, so they were cast were fantastic they did a really really good job um, and were all really entertaining and I just really loved the show my kids really loved the show I thought it was a great um, introduction to theatre for young children and it definitely kept the entire audience entertained throughout all the kids were joining in and there's big smiles on everyone's faces. So I am going to give this show five stars. I definitely go and take the kids again. I enjoyed the show just as much as the kids. I especially loved all the songs. Now I thought the songs were fantastic. Definitely recommend the show if it's coming to a venue near you. Like I said, it's no longer on at the Z Arts, but it is touring. So I will list down below. Um, the official website which lists everywhere it's touring to um i'll also put down below a uh, link to z art so you can see what other shows are coming to the z art so there's quite a few good shows coming there um so do keep a look out if you do live close by i think Rear on the broom is coming and the gruffalo is coming so there's some good shows coming to the z arts and it's a theatre that I highly recommend for children because the auditorium seating is so well rate that you get a good view no matter where you are sat. Like I said, we were sat on row I, which is very close to the back. I think it's two rows from the back. And our view was absolutely excellent. Really, really good. So um, if you do have small children, it is a very good theatre to take them to because they'll be able to see really easily um because of how well it is actually raked so it's definitely a theatre if i have a choice if it's on at two different venues and it's on there i would always take them to the darts over another venue because i know they're going to be able to see really easily there um so yeah i hope you've enjoyed this little vlog and review of the show oh one thing i did want to mention there was no merch at this show um which I'm not sure why because I've seen other videos of people going to show and there was merch. So whether that was just for the London shows, I don't know, but they didn't have any merch. I've seen uh, some places had t-shirts and mugs and all the books, but was none of that were on sale at this venue, which is a shame because if they would have had some of the books on sale, we probably would have bought a book each for the kids um, because they don't have all of them. So I think they're missing a trick there. They probably do need to sell the books because we would definitely have bought some if they had some so yeah if you're looking for merch um they didn't sell any that i could find anyway we did look they didn't seem to have any so i'm assuming maybe that was just for the london shows um but yeah uh like i said if you have enjoyed this video please do give it a like don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you again soon bye